Shetev and welcome to Virgin Radio. Welcome. Hello, hello. hello. You've just come off the world. We came on stage about 20 minutes ago. Yes. How was it? It was really hot. It is very warm. <laughs> it was like a sauna. It was great. There's a lot, an awful lot of people watching. Um, we've just hot footed it from Manchester last night. Oh, I know. I was going to so, say you must be nicely warmed up. Yes, very last lubricated. Last night was big, wasn't yes, it? Yes, it was a great big gig for us last night. So this was always kind of like. Is it going to work for us? But it's been great, hasn't it? It's been, yes, it's been really good, yeah. I think we all thought everyone had sore heads this morning, but everyone seemed to rise to the occasion, I think. What time did you finish last night? Uh, well, there was an after show party that kind of sums everything up, isn't it? But to be honest, it's always great in Scotland. For some reason, we go down really well up here, you know, it's always a breeze. Well, I think with this kind of weather, as tough as it is, everyone's very much up for it when yeah. the sun's out, aren't they? Oh, yeah, yeah. Can I just ask you, keep last night, have you, have you been paid for it? Yeah, no. Seems like a strange question, but I just want to show you something. This is on my friend's Instagram last night. You got night. all our money. Hey, I haven't got all someone your money, <laughs> but someone owes. Listen, someone owes you some money because last night my friend posted this from the gig. So obviously, for everyone who's listening, there's a guy. I don't know if you can see him. He says no oh, ticket, no problem. He's got he's got no top on, but he's got onto the bridge somehow. Right. But he's not paid to get in. That's thirty five pounds here. Yeah, well, yeah. that's it. That's it. Can do you mind that? Down? Do you mind that, or do you admire? Well, I, admire I admire his guts. Yeah, we just wanted to be there. But we'll have his guts for garden. Yeah, we will. Well, you've got the evidence there. Um, but how was the feeling last night as well? Though, was it? It was. It was. We'd kind of build it as the, the biggest thing we we're ever going to do so it, and then we kind of regretted that in case it wasn't the best thing we ever did but then it turned out to be the best thing we ever did didn't it? Yeah we couldn't really go wrong to be honest we, we put it on sale late last year and it sold really well really quickly so it's one of those things we've just been building up to doing with just 8,000 people and travelling all from all over the country the only problem we could have had was playing bad but we're playing really well and everyone just loved it so I've yet because we came straight here overnight I've not had the chance to go on social media yet and see what the reaction was yeah. so when I get home later I'll do a little bit of browsing. What have you done to keep yourself going to be able to go? Like in terms of your hangover? Um, I had two pints and went to bed but I think it's a different story with the rest of these ones. Literally. What's your secret Rick? You look fresh today. Thank you very much. I'll take You've that got as a the compliment. Shades, but... Just, you just got to do it. You know what I mean? It's one of those. It's like you got to go on there and play. You know, and, and as I've just said, as long as you can perform well enough, now's the time to come down a bit. Think, oh my God, we just managed to do that. But yeah, it's, it's just great. And to be honest with you, so many people sing along with us. It makes life a whole lot easier. We're very lucky because we've got a lot of old hits that people remember and really cherish and still love hearing. I mean, you know, a lot of our songs are 20 years old, you know, and people just love to come and see us singing them, it's great. There's a lot of youngsters tonight, today singing as well, wasn't there? A lot of young, yeah, really young yeah. people. I thought they were maybe there just waiting for the cool stuff that was coming on later, but they all knew the words and everything, which which means, I suppose, we're cool then. Well, it, what it means is, and I, and I see this at a lot of our gigs, there's people of our age, people who are maybe slightly older, but there's awful, an awful lot of people bringing their teenage children with them, and they're not there under suffering, it's their singing everywhere, which means we will officially become the new Rolling Stones, we'll just carry on and carry on and carry on. There you go. It's been a pretty amazing couple of days. I'll see you in 30 years. Yeah, I'll see you there. We'll be there. Um, last time we saw you actually was last year when you did an amazing gig for us at Virgin Radio. Yes. That was actually my first week at work at was Virgin, right, so okay. that was very impressive. Right, I've nice still got the miraculous. For you. It was. We did it for that very reason. It was. Um, how's it been then, just the whole, the last sort of six, eight months touring? It's been a, a bit of a whirlwind really. I mean, it took an awful long time for us to write a new album. It took 16 years in between releases, so it was all like proper work again rather than just a bit of a jolly boys let's play our old songs you know it's like commitment and work it's just been a big whirlwind and it's been a great success for us and people are now asking when will the, new, the next new album be so it took us 16 years to write this one so maybe about 2037 we'll be back with some yeah. new stuff simple yeah. arithmetic <laughs> and um, quick thoughts on the world cup we're going to win it. It's coming home. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. Even coming second in the group means we've got an easier run. We would be foolish not to win it now. We've got it on record now, so they better do. It <laughs> says so this I've... every year. <laughs> <laughs> We've got to have the hope, haven't you? You have. Yeah. Um, today you opened with uh, the theme from Magnificent Seven. Is yes. that right? Yes. What's the thought behind that? Just because we are magnificent and we are Shed Seven. Well, it makes sense. And you know, it's, it's, it's a classic <laughs> film. It's a great. It's become synonymous with us now, isn't it? Yes, yeah, so if I put that film on at home, I might have to run into the kitchen and start singing. Yeah. I've got a gig to do. 
<laughs> Yesterday, James Bay did a quite unexpected cover of Tina Turner's Simply the Best. Right. Have you got any sort of unexpected covers you've considered or? We used to do some ridiculous covers back in the day, didn't we? We did. We always choose some cool. We've done Bowie in the past, we've done the Rolling Stones in the past, but then we like to throw in the odd curveball. So we've done Wired for Sound by Cliff Richard. We've done Walk Like an Egyptian by the Bangles. Wow. We played Can did I you Play do with the dance? Madness by Maiden. Did you do the dance at the same time? Uh, probably at the time, yeah. It was a long time ago, but yeah. Still struck the Egyptian. You nailed it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Amazing. Struck the Egyptian, that's a great album title. And um, are there any other bands today that you've seen or you're looking forward to seeing? Are you staying for Liam later? No. No? I'm going home. You need to see. We've had a rough few days. Oh, there's somebody's party. One of my neighbours is having a party. Another so party. I'm getting a train over in about an hour. Wow. Well, speaking of that, we've been asking every band we've interviewed, you know, what is the longest you've stayed away for? What would be yours? I don't, I don't like to sleep too much. <laughs> yeah. you know, it's maybe. not going to be very impressive for many of us, I don't think. Really. I think back in the day, I might have, you know, had a, had a few late nights. I don't know. Gurning. 20, 26 hours. 26 Gurning. hours, there's your answer. That's a good one. Yeah. 26 hours. I mean, speaking It was like that. <laughs> speaking... I don't know what he's talking about. <laughs> speaking of back then, how different is your festival experience now to say, I don't know, 1996? I find it a lot easier these days, I just find there's less pressure and I think that goes back to the fact that we've had these songs for so long and people know what they're going to get. So in, back in the day we were promoting new music really and we are to an extent to another new album out but you know, playing an hour at a festival is sort of hard work for us because what do we not play? We've got so many songs that we could potentially put into an hour's set and it's a really difficult problem working out what not to play so it's a, it's a happy problem. But you know, nowadays because of that we just go on, play for an hour and, and everyone just sings back, so it's just perfect. Really. Brilliant. Well, it's been an amazing day, thank you so much for mm. and have a great rest of it. Enjoy your party much. tonight. Get some I will do. Fizzy, fizzy pop all the way. <laughs> it's all about the music. Virgin Radio.